This video will discuss the shopping cart feature within Solus Student Center. Please note, we will be using the development environment of Solus Student Center for demonstration purposes. The shopping cart is a tool used to prepare for class enrollment. Using this feature, classes for future enrollment are selected, waitlist requests can be completed, and errors within its class scheduling can be identified. Additionally, once course enrollment is available, classes from the previously loaded shopping cart can simultaneously be enrolled for greater efficiency. This video will identify how to add classes to the shopping cart and will troubleshoot errors in this process. This screen illustrates the home page of Solus Student Center. Select the tile called Manage Classes. The left-hand navigation menu contains links to components within the Manage Classes tile. To add classes to the shopping cart, first select the Class Search and Enroll navigation. On this page, select the Term of Interest. To search for classes to be added to the shopping cart, exact course codes can be used if known. For example, CISC 102 will directly load the Discrete Mathematics for Computing 1 class. Alternatively, searching generic keywords, for example, computing, will generate every class which includes that keyword in the title, description, or requisites details. Optionally, selecting additional ways to search allows more detailed drop-down menu selections. Also note that recently viewed classes can be selected. For this video, let's use CISC 102 as an example, using the general search term of computing. To find the course of interest, filters to the left can be selected based on class status, course career, subject, campus, number of units, academic session, class meeting dates and times, class component, or instruction mode. These filters may differ depending on search results. In this case, CISC 102 is visible without the need of these filters. Once selected, class details are provided, such as meeting dates, times, rooms, and instructors if known. Additional enrollment information can be found by selecting the class links. Select the preferred class of interest based on these details. In the first step, review class details and notes regarding class selection. Select Next. In step 2, switch the Add to Waitlist If Full button to Yes, if available. Note that not all classes offer waitlist options. If applicable, also select the program to which this class will apply to. This will only be asked to students registered in multiple programs. Select Accept. In Step 3, review the course to be added to the shopping cart. Then select Submit and Confirm Submission. Once added to the shopping cart, Return to class search results to review similar classes, keyword search page to add more classes to the shopping cart, or select Solus Student Center to return to the main page. For this tutorial, let's select the shopping cart navigation to review added classes. Here, the recently added Discrete Math for Computing class, as well as a previously added Introduction to Theater Drama class, is shown. To inspect for errors, check off boxes beside classes to validate. Select Validate. Upon validation, an error message is shown which describes a time conflict. To re remediate this, return to the shopping cart navigation, select the recently added Discrete Math for Computing class, and select Delete. Return to the Class Search and Enroll navigation. 
To choose a different time offering for the Discrete Mathematics for Computing class, select CISC 102 under Recently Viewed. Choosing the alternate time option, which is Lecture 2124, proceed with adding CISC 102 to the shopping cart as shown previously. Once added to the shopping cart, return to the shopping cart navigation and proceed with the validation procedures. As shown, no errors between these classes are now identified. To prepare for future enrollment, continue adding classes of interest to the shopping cart and validating them. For details on course enrollment from the shopping cart, please view the Student Registration Guide on the Office of the University Registrar website. Select Solis Student Center to return to the main page.